Have you ever had a feeling that your UI is too complex or overloaded? Then watch this video where I'll show you how to combine two crucial principles with real-life examples so that you can improve your site and you don't even need to redesign it much. Also, there is a bonus tip that you'll find at the end of the video, so let's dive in. The first law is called proximity or locality law. The law states that items close together are likely to be perceived as a part of the same group, sharing similar functionality or traits. So if you have a group of squares and then divide them by using space, then you'll have two groups. But what nobody says is that this principle is much more stronger than other rules that can control user attention. We can make an object stand out by changing its place or color or shape. But the proximity law is stronger. Even though these figures have different shapes, you can still distinguish two separate groups. Same happens with colors. So you may wonder, that's obvious, but let's take a look at this. I would say quite a popular app. Didn't you get overwhelmed by the number of options? Although it's related to the bonus tip I'll talk about later, the thing is that all principles are connected. So Microsoft works on it and it looks much better now. How about this one? Remember the good old days. The problem is not only that it's too much. The problem is that all elements are perceived as a single group. There is no separation using space. Let's see some real-world examples. A very common mistake people make is not having enough space between form inputs. On this screenshot, labels have equal white space between inputs, which makes it hard to perceive. It takes time to figure out what is what. There are so many forms that have this problem. Another example that I borrowed from NN group is this. Take a look at the Add button. The button was placed in close proximity to unrelated buttons, far from the main area of the form, which makes it difficult to find. Another button that I saw on a recent project looked like this. The problem here is that the Submit button is placed next to navigation, and it's really hard to find it as soon as you get to the edge of the form. All you need to do to fix that is to group your elements logically and have enough space to separate these groups. Another law is widely used in real life. Its name is Miller's Law. It states, the number of objects an average person can hold in working memory is about 7, also known as the magical number 7 plus or minus 2. George Miller, a cognitive psychologist, first published this in 1956 in Psychological Review. So the idea is that you shouldn't put more than 7 plus minus 2 objects inside one group. We see it everywhere in our life. Consider these two phone numbers. Which one is easier to remember? Of course, the second one, because it's easier for us to remember groups of objects rather than one big group. Personally, I find it a bit controversial since if they cannot remember them, then why do we have UI, after all? But what I like is the idea. Of course, if you display a hundred links in a row, users still will be able to find the one they need, but it will take some effort. However, if you break these links into a few groups, it will become easier for them to do the task. So let's get back to my previous examples of Microsoft Word and the browser. What's wrong here is that they give users too many options that are not clearly separated. So it looks like there is a couple of huge groups of elements. Let me show you a wireframe I made that illustrates the combination of the proximity law and Miller's law. Here we have a somewhat typical layout. Now, something's wrong here. Let's see. We have two groups of links in the navigation that are too close to each other, so we can separate them. The cards are too close as well, and they need a little bit more space in between. Now, still we have some problems. There are too many links, obviously more than seven in the navigation. So what we can do is split them into a few groups that contain around 5 or 6 links. We also have a big group of links in the header, which can be split up. This is way much better. Now, at the beginning of the video, I promised to show you a bonus law. Actually, it's related so much to these two principles that I had to mention it. The bonus law is called Higgs law. In a nutshell, it states that the more choice you have, the more time you will need to complete your task. And in all examples that we saw, we had quite a few options. Grouping them and having enough space between groups certainly helps. But it would be better if you give users a limited number of options at once. Although it's not that easy, you shouldn't always limit the choice. You can check out why in this video I made about Higgs law. So remember these 
points. Group logically related elements together. Have enough space between them. Don't put too many elements in a group, if possible. The key number is about 7 plus minus 2. And sometimes it would be a good idea to limit the number of groups and items on purpose. But it depends. That's it, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and see you soon.